everybody welcome back to another vlog <clears throat> today i'm just going to be showing you how i make a quick pasta and air fried salmon dinner um so let's just get into it as you can see i have my salmon in a bowl i just put some lemon juice in it now the lemon juice is just obviously to give it some flavor and to keep it very juicy when it goes into the air fryer i'm coming in with some garlic powder and some onion powder guys i cannot stress on how much i <laughs> love garlic and onion powder it is literally the best um spices out there <laughs> one of the best spices out there my bad um yeah and then regardless of um whether or not i put some powder i'm gonna come in with some garlic paste i always cook with garlic and ginger paste as well as garlic and ginger powder uh, and garlic and onion powder my bad um just adding some fish seasoning because i mean salmon is you know it is fish and of course as in a job beam now i like spicy food so i'm gonna put some red hot pepper in this mind you if you like it to be like really hot like if you want the heat level to be like high add as much as your palate can take um, I didn't put it too much because it is late at night and I'm not trying to have heartburn. Um, yeah, I don't want any heartburn. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> right now, I'm just rubbing it all in. Um, I want to get every corner. So, the salmon is very flavorful. <laughs> Flavored. I don't know. Um, my English can be had at certain times though. But, yes, yes, yes. Just rubbing it in. As you can see, I'm doing it gently because it is salmon. It can scatter if you're not careful. And that's part of why I didn't want to fry it in oil. Because, you know, if there's a healthier option, I will take it. I will always choose the healthier alternative. Um, yeah, um, I flipped it around. Um, just rubbed more on the back. And at this point, you can see I have gloves on, so I can't touch any more seasoning. So I had Julius just adding an, um, a little bit more fish seasoning. And, um, yeah, more um, more red hot pepper. Because um, I felt like it just wasn't enough. So, yeah, I'm just going to rub, rub, rub it. And just have it prepped and ready to go into the air fryer. I should let you know, I air fried it for about 20 minutes and it was at 300 degrees. Um, yeah. So there we go. Um, moving it to the air fryer and that's it. And ready to cook. I grabbed my pan and put some water in it cause I'm going to boil my pasta in that pan. I'm going to do everything in that pan. I'm not going to show you the process of boiling pasta because I'm sure, you know, you know how to boil pasta. And if you don't, don't worry. I can make a whole video to show you how to boil pasta. People don't know how to boil pasta and they don't know how to boil white rice. I will show you. So right now the water is just um, boiling um, while I go in and I chop up some red onions. I'm just cutting these onions in no particular way, no particular particular skill. I'm just chopping it. Anyhow, anyhow the blade wields. Um, red onions, because I mentioned previously in my last cooking vlog, um, my sister had told me how um it keeps the taste authentic if you're cooking like Nigerian food. And honestly, I just like it, so I just keep using it. <clears throat> Tell me in the comments if you'd rather use white onions or red and why um shout out to sylvia i think we spoke about this in the last cooking vlog uh yeah so chop that onions and just showing you the pasta that i'm using um you can get it from your local um grocery store supermarket whatever and today i'm not gonna be using whipping cream i'm going to be using almond milk frankly i did not have whipping cream and i did not have the time at this um to go to the store to get one and i'm also using um tomato and the basil root sauce um i came in with some olive oil and i'm just gonna put half of my red onions i like i said i, I did not show the process of boiling the pasta the pasta is already ready 
I put it in a sieve and I put it by the sink. And yes, I'm just going to fry this red onions. And then I'm going to go in with my green bell peppers. You guys, the green bell pepper gives it a very... I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but it gives it a very nice taste. Um, I think it was my friend at Daisy that told me to be adding green bell peppers and red bell peppers to my jello fries. Or more. That's a different level that was unlocked though because jello fries makes sense when you garnish it with red bell peppers. Try it and thank me later. Yo, yo, yo. But um, yeah, shout out to Daisy for giving me this hack. When we first moved into Oklahoma, and I've I've taken it everywhere with me. Um, yeah, just frying it, um, lightly, um, with the olive oil. Um, tell me what type of oil you like to use. I know some people use granite oil, canola, um, coconuts, avocado. I just stick to olive oil. I I use all except for granite oil. Julia says I like granite oil, so I just I just never. I never introduced it to my home. Yes, um, poured some tomato um, sauce. Like I said, any type of marinara type of sauce, you can use it. Um, I did not measure. I just eyeballed when I was doing this. I'm just going to let that cook. And uh, we're going to season it. When we season it, I plan on adding my... What's, what's it called? I plan on adding my almond milk um, to make it look like vodka sauce. And I'll when I get there, I'll tell you what. <laughs> um, so I came in with some Noor. Um, that's my preference. Um, the bouillon, you can get that at Walmart or Crest, I believe. And of course, you already know the drill, the onion and the garlic powder. Just... Right now, eh, my kitchen is scenting nice. It's just, my kitchen just smells amazing. Put in some pepper because, you know now, you already know how I like my food very hot. Mind you, I will let you know, if you're going to be cooking with milk or any sort of cream-based, um, any, any sort of cream base, you should add extra pepper if you want. If not, it will dilute it as far as I'm concerned. If I had known this, I would have added more red hot pepper at this point. At this juncture. So now I'm just pointing that almond milk. This is an alternative for vegans. It made sense. So. Hmm. I was At this point, I was experimenting. Because I never cooked with almond milk in sauce like this before. Actually, scrap that I had. Scrap that I had. But I didn't use my nara. I actually used tomato soup when I was doing it. And I was cooking for my friend. Shout out to Brittany. I pulled up our house. We drank wine and then we cooked. I listened to some Nigerian jams. Um, yeah. Automatically, it just looks like vodka sauce. Just like that. Boom. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Kaka. Cool, cool. Um, but uh, please, don't. if you don't like almond milk, do not use it. Just use regular whipping cream. And of course, I added some cheese that I got from... Um, my local um, grocery store that's literally next to my house. Um, give it a little bit of a gooey texture, but it wasn't it wasn't strong or anything. But so yeah, just going to mix it all in. It's sent, my kitchen is scenting. I can tell you straight up, my kitchen is scenting. Fast, fast, fast. Mix, mix, mix. Spin, spin, spin. Woo! Yo, I'm already waiting for you to see the end results. So where's my pasta? Where's my pasta? Oh. See, I came in with more red pepper because I wasn't believing in the ministry of this food yet. I needed it to be spicy. I needed it to be very, very, very spicy. Yo. That's why. That's the only reason. But yeah. Um. Oh, okay. I think at this point, I think I put more seasoning. No. Ah, I really was not trusting this this level. But it's okay. We move. Um. Yes, I got the pasta and. I put it in. Shout out to whoever created the invention of cutting pasta like this. God will bless you. For anywhere. Because when I have children, this is what I plan on using. Spaghetti is too long for kids. Let them just eat this one and be going. But yes, um, <clears throat> at this point, I'm just going to mix everything all in. It just looks very cute. 
I should also say I did go in and add some more tomato sauce just because it wasn't red enough for me. Um, I just wanted it to be redder. Oh, excuse my camera right there. So you can add some more. If you want to even add salt, add. I don't like cooking with salt like that, except maybe garlic salt or so. But yes, I've already plated it though. It was ready. Pere, pere. The food was ready. I put it aside. I already served it in the two places that I'm going to be putting the food in. And I have come to work on the sauce for the salmon. The salmon is already ready. 20 minutes has already finished, I think. But yes, the salmon is ready. It's on one side. I believe it was it 15 minutes if I did. But all right, let's let's work on this sauce. I'm making like a garlic butter kind of sauce. And I just put some olive oil in the saucepan. I sprinkle some garlic paste. You know, I don't know. As a child, I used to hate garlic. I used to hate garlic and ginger. But now, if there's no garlic and ginger in my food, that meal is not complete though. That meal is not complete at all. At all. I put in the rest of the half of the onions and I'm just going to stir it with just a pot handle. I'm just going to just turn it and turn it and turn it and turn it. Um, yeah, I increased it a bit because it was on low. I didn't want the onions to burn up. Look at that. Just look at how weird that looks. Now, I have a secret recipe for this thing. I think I've gone to go and get it. Oh, yeah, I'm just showing you the salmon. See? Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, yeah, put right now at this point I just put the salmon aside on the plates. Um, then I'm going to come back with my secret ingredients for this sauce. Mind you, this is the first time I was using this thing. No. It was the first time I was using it. I never used it before. I don't know I'm wasting your time here, but I believe I must be picking up something very important. Yeah. Yes, baby. It's one it. Right there, that was it. Did you see that? Did you, Kendall Jenna? Did you did something with this drink, tequila? You guys, I really don't even like hard liquor. Don't mind me, I don't drink hard liquor like that. But I had to just experiment with it. And who, child, my kitchen was bomb right now. Like the smell in my kitchen was amazing. It was scenting nice. Ha! This her reposted dough, be reposado, whatever she calls it. Ah, agave azul. Look at it, hundred percent agave azul. Look at it at the corner. Feast your eyes. That was a good drink. But anyways, we put in some water, and again, I'm coming back with some eight one eight baby. Eight one eight. Eight one eight. Even the name. I wonder how they came up with it. God bless Kendall Jenna for this drink. Yes, keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> I kept up with the drink, Sha. And at this point, I'm adding more onion powder. And um, and more garlic powder. Keeping up with Alex in our kitchen. I will be messing around with drinks and be cooking with them. I'm showing you, like, what sort of meals you can make with what sort of, you know. Like, there's a special bolognese sauce. I make with some special red wine. Some pinot. <laughs> some pinot. I'm going to show you all. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're still turning it with just the handle of the pots. Look at how gla it's not glazed. Look at how it looks like sauce. But it's just butter. And, it's just butter and oil, frankly speaking. But yeah, that's about it, I guess. That's that's about it. So is there something else I'm adding? Is there something? Where am I at this point? I don't even know where I am, but. Look how we're just look at look at the, the oil just bubbling, bubbling is cooking. Is is that's the effect of the tequila? That that's the effect. Can you see Mexico? Look look at the border the side. Oh yeah, I, I came in and I added some smoked paprika. Hey, this is where my lodo came out. After adding smoked paprika, it was not enough. I added black pepper. Just just look at this idiot. Look at what I'm look at what I'm about to do. Look at this. Look at this. Bam. Look at me. Look at this. Chain. Oh, yeah. Let's go and fix it. I put it down. At this point, I felt very stupid. And I was just grateful that it was no salt. I was just thankful. Now, I reduced this, Sha. 
where uh, too much leaf is not even bad for the body but yeah so yeah spin it spin it fast fast look at look at look at that look at that as a topping that's cute that's ew that's so cute they just add some more lemon juice because lemon juice and that tequila is a banger so i've turned off my oven i've off the oven now it's ready it's ready so now let's go and pour it on the salmon look 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 at that let's infuse it inside the salmon bam you guys this was a very good meal i can tell you already ahead of time I, it was a good meal i'm not really arranging it on the plate well my plating is not fantastic but we move so please if you guys like this recipe try it though do your own flex your own style comment tell me please tell me what you want me to cook next time but in the meantime please like subscribe god bless you thank you very much for watching this video at some point i know i will add cheese because it's looking very naked yes there we go baby some cheese on that pasta some parmesan cheese just sprinkle a little bit and then you know going for a taste test but as we're tasting it i can tell you it was already yum yum it was already nice you know so at this juncture and um, i will see you guys in the next video is yeah yes it's just that's that's it that's it just yum yum mm. longer throat go and make your own food bye bye guys bye <laughs> no just 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 look juicy <laughs> a double